What are we up to this Sunday morning? I'm actually trying to get through my death pile. Death punch, death pile. <laughs> I guess this is a good way to start. Getting this listed on eBay and Mercari. We've got a couple things floating around that may or may not pan out. But for right now, I'm just going to concentrate on getting death pile listed. These I'm going to take new photographs of and relist them on eBay and put them on Mercari. We picked these up almost a year ago at a garage sale for $5. I have absolutely no freaking clue why these haven't sold yet. They are in pristine condition. I don't even think that they've ever really been worn. I cannot figure out why there's no interest in these. They're Polo Ralph Lauren and they're in really good shape. So I'm going to retake photos, redo the ad on eBay, and stick them on Mercari, see if that makes any difference. Also, possibly have somebody coming to pick up this bookshelf for $45, I think, and in about an hour. Somebody's supposed to come pick this up for $35. We'll see if either of those go through. It's been picked up. Globe is gone. Now we're just waiting on bookcase people. And another giant hole I need to fill, but I think Casey's having an auction tomorrow. So possibly able to buy something from there. Hopefully. And I just found this. I have no idea where we put that McCoy piece. Hmm. Somewhere. It's another hot mess pile. Every time something sells, it ends up in a hot mess pile. I believe I bought that bookcase for $5 from one of Casey's auctions. So again, not a bad flip. And now where are we going, you might say? Just finished Polar Vortex to go into Everything is Ice again. But yes, we are leaving. We gotta go grab something. Why are we at an assisted living home? Hmm. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Maybe the battery is done from the Polar Vortex. Got it started. Whoop whoop. Something's definitely going on. I just don't know what it is. Get a little sneak peek. Yep. That's what we grabbed from the assisted living. More rearranging of our workspace. All of this has to be moved because what we just picked up is going to go against this half wall right here. So all the mannequins need to be moved. Look at the walkway we have now. Although hot mess central always a giant hot mess but while we've got this giant spot cleared out i'm gonna run the vacuum cleaner if i showed you guys our vacuum cleaner check this thing out <laughs> this is our every day every use vacuum cleaner there's the vacuum piece Pretty spiffy. I think we bought this at one of Casey's auctions for like five bucks. And it works awesome. So we kept it. Ta-da! Shout out to Jeanette who always keeps her eye open for cool projects for Rich. This was free. The guy who owned it owned it its entire life in the New Jersey slash New York area. And uh, when he came to Michigan, or no, it was the wife, the wife, after the husband died, came to Michigan. This was the only piece of her late husband's that she insisted on bringing to Michigan with her. She unfortunately is now on hospice, and the daughter didn't want this to get junked. Thank God she didn't, so she put it up for free, and uh, Jeanette seen it, tagged me in it. I sent the information to Rich and he said, absolutely, we are going to get that. So it is 1950s? Late 1950s, early 1960s, I'm assuming. Brazile. Yes. Yes, that needs work. 
the company only made the cabinetry and then you filled it with your own components, whatever system, whatever hi-fi you were into, whether it be Pioneer, actually this was the 50s, so it was, what was like popular in the 50s, babe? Um, stuff like Macintosh, Fisher, Marantz, tube you, gear. You put your own gear in it though. Record player, etc. So we're just gonna clean it up and uh, get that door working. This will be going up for sale at some point when he's done with it. Still going through and listing some things. I still haven't got this listed. I can't really find any information on this stamp, so I'm just gonna list it. So let me get that on. And I found this in a box downstairs. It's like pound puppies, but it's pound purries. I don't know, I haven't even looked it up yet. But Rich has somebody on their way to come look at records, I believe. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. I sold five records for $35, so averaging five a piece. I'm curious if that is the same 10 we started recirculating when we found it in the vintage Reebok windbreaker that we bought at, uh, or that I bought at Salvation Army not too long ago. It's not often you see vintage 10s. We're leaving again. Anyone want to guess what we're doing now? That way you guys can see better out the window because we're going garbage picking. Since it gets dark so freaking early in the middle of the winter, I don't get to video these very often. So we're going to tack a little bit on to the end of this video. Here we go. Just pulled into the first little neighborhood area. We actually are doing this specifically. What is that? It's a no good painted table. Anyway, uh, we're like out of shipping boxes. So we decided to run the garbage route specifically to garbage pick boxes for shipping. But it would be really cool if we found a truck load full of really awesome discarded goodies along the way. We shall see. It was pretty nice today. It was like 50 degrees. As you can tell, everything's a sloshy mess. All the snow is melting. But I probably won't be able to video the entire route. Probably got about 40 minutes before the sun goes down and I won't be able to video anymore. But until then, I'll show you what we find. I'm gonna grab this fan. Likely just scrap, but you never know. Interesting, like wooden box looking thing with a lid. Yeah, it's cool. I think I'm gonna grab it. Cute little project table. The guy was standing right there so I couldn't video, but yeah. Coat of paint. Touch it right up. Alright, I see this chair over here. I think it's a press back. Can't tell if it's broken yet. Definitely is a press back. What is that? Whatever it is, it comes off. Oh, sad day. Guess we're leaving it. Alright, we're going to. Ooh, boxes. I want to come back for those. But oh, we are going to grab this. Even if it doesn't work, we'll scrap it. We're just like, are you going to grab that aluminum? What aluminum? Found it. Kerosene heater, but it's more than likely scrap metal. I'll show you the one and only thing that was not scrap that we picked up on the garbage route and I already found a penny inside of it. Um, the canvas needs a little bit of cleaning, like spot cleaning. Obviously it's a laundry cart, but otherwise, I mean, it was free, price is right, and I don't see any rips or major damage. The little stains that are on the bags can, I believe, be touched up, so that's not a huge deal. Um, yeah, so that was the garbage route. We may have a buyer for that. We're just waiting to hear back for uh, $100. So, I don't know. We'll see. But that's our day today, Sunday fun day. Thanks for hanging out with us. And tomorrow, I believe, we are going thrifting. So, we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.